here. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're more surprised. <laughs> but at one point, is it too awkward to leave? <laughs> right now. No worries. Um, maybe you're here with a friend. Who here is actually doesn't know Wong Fu and came with a friend? All right, we got yeah. one of Thank you. In essence, we're talking to you guys first, so you, you get all the information. Well, I would say that our history goes, like I said, it goes back pretty far to a point where, yeah, you guys were, like, maybe, like, just in elementary school or something. Um, we are, uh, yeah, we, we, we started making videos before YouTube existed. What? What was that like? <laughs> like, I think, imagine, um, I, I, do you guys remember what it was like before you had streaming video, like on your like computer? Yes, okay, some people like barely. Dark ages, I'm sure. Is, uh, like, but um, no, we went to school at UC San Diego, um, which is uh, literally like the other corner of where we of America from where we are right now. And uh, we made yeah, we were making stuff when we were in school. And at this time, um, online the two this sounds crazy, but the the two words online and video didn't go together. Like that's, I know this dates us like really bad, um, but even the statement, like we were making these online videos and posting them onto our website for people to download uh, off of our server. <laughs> like, did it, you guys follow with like, now it's like, oh yeah, you watch YouTube, and then like, that all happens for you. Um, so yeah, we were just making stuff for fun, and uh, at this time it was, I guess, still like a very novel thing and we had no plan or idea of what would happen to this technology or social media, like coming to what it is now. We just wanted to make stuff, and um, we just kept going. We graduated, and how? I guess how how much of a filter chronology, like chronology, should I go through? Yeah, we, we there's there's varying levels of the story where we go into like how we met in class and how deep do you want us to go? Uh, uh, I you want to. Like, you want to go deep? Yeah, I feel like they're here for us to go deep. Yeah, I think that's a very good overview. Um, we imagine, imagine meeting uh, two friends in college, and some people are like, oh, I do imagine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, Phil, Ted, uh, who's not here right now, but Ted, the three of us met in class, in a, in a video production class, uh, this class where we had to make a project every week. So you can imagine after 10 weeks, you kind of get to know everyone's style, you get to know how they work. Um, and we were like, hey, you know, the class is over, but why don't we just uh, have some ideas? Why don't we keep making some videos? This is fun. And that might sound actually pretty normal these days, but back then it's like, uh, you know, you have friends that would, you know, do IMs or dance uh, for fun or play video games for fun. We made videos. Um, and that was kind of like how what we did outside of class for uh, close to two years. Yeah, and I think like at that time, three years. Uh, you know, even this sounds crazy. High speed internet was like only in colleges. So like we started, a lot of people in colleges started watching us and spreading our first initial videos, which were like really basic or rudimentary, like compared to like the technology that's out now. But it was new. It was like, oh, there's Asian people on a screen, like. Back then, there was just no Asian people, unless you saw maybe like a background person in a TV show, maybe or or Jackie Chan in Rush Hour. So it's one, it's like one or the other. Um, but like we were just being like part of normal cells, just college kids, and we were on, we were accessible for people to watch all over the country and the world. And so people started watching and tuning into our website. And um, and after we graduated, um, we went on. So we, our last year of college, we made a movie. Um, because we were just trying to grow as artists, and then we realized, hey, let's let's share this movie with our fans who are who are watching. And so we took the movie on a tour, which we organized through our website. People were like emailing us to bring us out to the school, which included Rutgers, and Rutgers was one of the first ones. I, I it, it was probably like CSO that actually brought us. I, I think so. It would probably yeah. be yeah. Someone um, like carried you on their back. It was yeah. It was a really interesting uh, tour. Yeah, and um, we. Can I just the context? We used to, uh, there was no Google Maps, so we would have to, at the hotel, we'd print out directions. We're making those sound so old, we should stop. No, I, I like this. this. I like this. This is, the, they need to know the, the dirty struggles. struggles. We'd print out, and we'd have like this packet of directions uh, to get to each school. We'd, we'd 
the three of us would drive, take yeah. turns driving to each school. So we went to like 20 schools, and like some of the yeah, some of the schools had like just like 30 people. We sold like tickets, you know, and um, so t just the fact that we're here like 15 years in, like the now it's even bigger, is just amazing. But at that time, we're just like, man, there's real people that are watching our stuff. It's not just like a web stat. And, like people actually care. Like we were in the middle of Virginia, and people drove six hours to come see us. Like that's how important it was to see themselves represented or just see some, someone that they liked. And we got back from that tour, and this was our first year after graduating, and we are just like, man, we gotta keep this going somehow. How many of you guys are about to graduate? Cool. How, you guys are like freaking out? Like, what's going on? All right, cool. Some people are like, yeah, we got new churches, look good. <laughs> nice, everyone's freaking out uh, before graduating. So, um, yeah, we, so yeah, we were one of those people, and we're, we had art majors, or art degrees, so you can imagine like what we were going through. <laughs> so yeah, we were living, the three of us moved to LA, and we were like, okay, let's just keep this going, let's keep making videos for the people that are watching. In the meantime, um, we were like doing like weddings, wedding videography, we did like uh, videography for like local, local like businesses, like little commercials, weddings, we did yeah, yeah, weddings and um, club videography. We, uh, you know when you go to like a nightclub, there's like a person with like a video camera like doing something. <laughs> there's, certain, there's certain parts of the history that I don't want to admit to. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, we're that guy. Like, you don't want to be talking about the driving, I don't want to be talking about the... Yeah, yeah. We, have, we had to deal with drunk people, like, go, oh, take a picture of me! Um, anyway, so yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, it, it, we'll fast forward a little bit. But basically, we kept it going, and then eventually, you know, we, we kind of planted our flag in, you know, our you know, our digital whatever channel space, even like with the with YouTube us deciding, hey, let's actually like um, use YouTube more. There was a time when YouTube, we were, the only reason why we first started using YouTube at the time was because it was free bandwidth. And we were like getting a crazy bill from our server. So we're like, oh, this is a, this is a platform that works. And the community aspects only started like picking up around like 2008, probably around when maybe some of you guys started using it. And there are different efforts within that journey. So around 2008, uh, we started seeing that community evolve and, and develop, and that's when we met a lot of people that uh, we still know today, and uh, you know, Kev Jumbo, Ryan Giga, David Choi, uh, people like that. Yeah, they're, they're great. I'm sure they've probably visited here before. Because <laughs> uh, they don't love you like we do. We, uh, we're so much better and nicer. Uh, but we really uh, just focus on co like collaboration, and, and we did a lot of videos uh, based on working with others and skits with you know incorporating other YouTubers, and and that's a way our network grew as well. Yeah, and then like thankfully we started like this brand called Nice Guy. Like we started selling T-shirts, and we started selling like plush animals. It was the most random time for us to just figure out a way to keep food. Yes, our animals, just whatever we could to kind of keep paying rent and tell our parents that we were like earning money still. So, so, so. <laughs> Um, and thankfully, because of those things, we were able to stop doing the wedding videography and drunk people videography. Um, and that's kind of like when the business started becoming a business and um, the digital space started evolving and advertising started coming in and brands started using social media and social media itself just started blowing up and we just kind of kept evolving with that, uh, with that space. And yeah, there was a time when people were like, why are you guys doing this YouTube thing that's so random and so weird? And then now, obviously, um, yeah, digital content is just, it's just content. Like, it's not even, there was a time when it was called new media. Now it's just media. So um, that's a brief history of uh, how we got to right here. <laughs> we got on the plane and we landed in Newark. <laughs>